M Missouri Nation, Jason here, talking now about departing a Class D, Class Delta airspace. We're here on the ground, out in front of the T-hangers at the Ocala Airport, and we always start the same way. Let's grab the ATIS here first. One Zulu, wind one two zero at five, visibility one zero, two thousand nine hundred scattered, temperature two eight, two point two two, altimeter three zero one zero. Visual approach in use, landing runway one eight, VFR departures, advise ground control objection of flight. Notice this airman, taxi alpha five is closed, taxi alpha eight is closed, taxi alpha is closed between alpha four and alpha nine -er. Advise on initial contact, you've information Foxtrot. Foxtrot, we'll hear the one time. Pilot tower information. Foxtrot 1651 Zulu, wind 120 at 5, visibility 10, 2900 scattered, temperature 28, 2.22, altimeter 30. All right, that, we've got that Foxtrot. I've got 3009 in there, winds 1205. We're using runway 18 today. Now we're going to call up ground. And what I typically do is I cold call ground here first. It sounds something like this Afternoon, Ocala Ground, Skyhawk 23, Mike Zulu. You don't have to add the app. Uh, 2 3 Mike Zulu, Kaltar. Ground 2 3 Mike Zulu's at the North T Hangers. Information Foxtrot VFR southbound, please. 2 3 Mike Zulu, Cal Ground, runway 1 8, taxi via Alpha. 1 8 via Alpha, thank you. 2 3 Mike Zulu. We'll continue on out here. At, at Ocala, we work, they work both ground and uh, tower. Confused me for a second. He said he called himself Ocala Tower. He probably just came off the tower shift and is now working ground. I have to double check, make sure on the Avidyne it says, yes, that's Ocala ground. I'm transmitting on the right uh, frequency. I'm going to pop right out here. I've got two Cirruses in front of me. But what did I do in that radio call? I cold called them first to get their attention. Ocala ground, Skyhawk, 2-3 Mike Zulu. And I wait. I then come back. When they come back, Skyhawk 23 Mike Zulu, this is Ocala Ground, go ahead. In this case, it's at Ocala Tower, go ahead. Where am I, All right? Uh, I'm, I'm at the North Sea Hangars, information Foxtrot, what do I want to do? I'm via part of the South. I know what runways they're using, I have the information, I listen to Foxtrot, that's why I'm explaining that to them, so I know and have all of that. Now I'm following my taxi, and again, I have a very, very easy taxi, but I have, you can have your diagram out with you at all times anyways. Which is a very right to here, as you can see. Not going too terribly far. I've got two Cirruses that look like they're ahead of me. I like it. Now, notice this, too. This is a good teaching point. See how the Cirrus is at a nice angle? I want to follow the same angle, assuming he's doing the right thing going into the wind, which he is. Because when he does his run-up, he doesn't want to blast the airplane behind him. I don't want to do the same thing, so I angle. And let's go ahead. Let's knock out our run-up here together while we wait. Brakes hold, flight controls. Right side up, left side down, left side up, right side down. Full back, full forward, and wagging our tail out the back. All is good. All right, mixtures going rich. Throttles coming on up. 1,700. Magnetos check. Left side. Great drop. Back to both. Right side. Great drops. Back to both. Carburetor heat. Confirm. Great. Engine gauges. Green, green. Green, green, green across the board. All right. Looks good. Trim set for takeoff. Fuel is both. Smoothly back to a nice idle check. Life is good. Confirm. Everything is set. Run up. Complete. I'm now going to flip flop over to tower. Now there's some air. Victor, Red there's some airports. Line, serious traffic departing prior to arrival. So I got one. Zero, one Cirrus is departing. Zero, one looks like he's going to land. Sounds like he's going to land. So we're a little busy right now. Some airports. Remember our flight plan series uh, back in I guess it would have been October, where. At PDK, leaving PDK, ground told me to call them when I was done with the run-up. These are the things you can learn on the ATIS. In this case, at a typical Class D airport, Ocala is much, much smaller than PDK. It's just a very, very simple, um, you know, just switch over to tower and I'm ready. And here's another interesting situation. I'm in a bad spot right behind the Cirrus. I'm getting blasted by all his prop wash. So I need to pick a side and kind of just get out of that a little bit in case he flips up any rocks or anything. You all know how much money we just spent on this paint job again. Right, so I'm just going to dog leg off over here a little bit. So I'm out of the majority of that. You can hear the, feel the whole plane shaking. But I'm set. I'm going to work on flight following next. So I've got flight following queued up with that. That'll be in a future video, by the way. And I essentially have everything all set up here for us. Good to go. And now we're just going to kind of wait. So we might cut this video for a bit because we got uh, one landing. And I'm number two for departure. So we'll see how that goes. I've got everything queued up, listening to the tower, 
and I'm going to go ahead now, and I, he's going to tell me to hold short. But I want to let him know that I'm here and I'm ready, even though he's going to tell me to hold short, because Tango Bravo is still taking off. Ocala Tower, Skyhawk 2-3, Mike Zulu, Alpha 1-1-8, one, ready for departure. He's going to tell me to hold short. 2-3 Mike Zulu, Ocala Tower, runway 18, clear for takeoff. Search traffic ahead, he used runway heading 2000. 18, clear for takeoff, thank you, 2-3 Mike Zulu. Well, that one worked differently than surprise. I guess he figured, that Cirrus is way faster than you, Jason. Let me get my door. That's all good, that's all set. Mixture's back rich, everything's good, every inch of runway. He's runway heading up to 2000, no problem. Two four one Tango Bravo contact Jax departure. Have a good Sorry, day. Jax. All right, Jax. One Tango Bravo. Good day. All right. One eight one eight on the compass. Everything looks good. Let's roll. Open wind. Airspeed's live. And Nick Age is confirmed. Green, 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 green. She's ready to fly. There she goes. Off at five hundred feet. I've been losing weight. That's what it is. Looking good here, team. Up and out of here. I hope you're loving this 31-day safer pilot challenge. We'll be taking this a step further because I'm actually on my way to MCO. Flying into a class at Bravo, so we'll be showing the flight, uh, the uh, flight following process as well. And I'm sure you'll see if you haven't already some videos in and out of the Bravo. So, uh, thank you for your comments. Thank you for everything. I hope you, if you have your copy of the Aviation Mastery book right now, you're just absolutely loving that. Thank you for being a blessing to myself and this amazing team and family. You are a part of that Missouri family, and family takes care of family. So, if there's anything we can do, please, please, please. Don't hesitate to reach out. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And most importantly, remember that a good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, everyone. We'll see you.